Hello there again. I wanted to uh, do a quick empties video for you guys, so hopefully you enjoy this. It's my first one, so just kind of bear with me. Um, a lot of the stuff I have are free samples from <clears throat> some of the um, holiday purchases I've been doing on Ulta, Sephora.com. So let's start with this. This is a Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in light beige sample. And I really like this foundation. I would like to try a uh, full size, but the samples that I've gotten, um, I really like. It comes with um, three different colors. I have another one I haven't used yet. I believe it's Sand. Uh, let me look. Sorry. Yes. Sand is the other one, which I haven't used yet, but I'll be sure to uh, get back to you on that. And I don't have the other colors here. But it says it's for um, medium to full coverage, and I really like this because the light beige is really good with my skin tone. Um, there's a lighter one, I think it's like light or something, I can update you in the info box down below. Um, but it is good for my skin tone naturally, but right now I have um, a sunless tanner on, so this light beige has been really good. But I like the coverage. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best foundation I've ever tried. It's definitely good, but I don't know that it's great. So I think I'm going to hold off on buying a full-size bottle for right now. Um, the next thing I have is a Tarte High Performance Naturals um, Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinin Pressed Finishing Powder Sample. And this says it's a lightweight buildable coverage and keeps you looking fresh all day and they sent four different samples so it came with fair light medium and tan now the fair and light are my um color my shade and the fair would be more of like a little bit too light for me so I like the light even the medium was good for me uh, like I said right now I have the tan so um, the medium would be good with that right now um, when I use the actual tan it, it's called tan <laughs> when I use that shade it was a little um, a little too dark it was almost like a bronzer for my skin tone so I definitely would go with light or medium but I really did like that um, coverage. Now, I, I love Tarte. They're like my favorite brand, so I would say that I'm more uh, likely to go with one of those, and I do have their Amazon and Clay foundation right now, so I want to get the Amazon and Clay pressed finishing powder, so I recommend those things. And the next thing I have is this Macadamia Oil Moisturizing Shampoo. And I have the conditioner for this too. I haven't finished the conditioner yet. But um, this brand, now I checked online and they did say that they were cruelty free. Um, it was a really cute answer too. It was like, oh my goodness, we'd never test on animals, but uh, we're so grateful that you agree with us and you would never test on animals either. So uh, I definitely like this though. It has a great smell to it. It's kind of like a, a nutty, um, I guess if it's macadamia, maybe that's where it's coming from, but it's definitely like a nutty fragrance to this. It it made my hair really smooth without even using the conditioner, and like right now, my hair is still wet from using it. Um, it's so smooth, and I did use the conditioner today, but yeah, it's it's so smooth, guys. You got to try it. it. Smells great. I love it. Definitely, definitely buying that. That's on my purchase list. Now the next couple of things I have are, um food items. Um, just wanted to throw them in there because I thought they're awesome. Uh, one is this Pocky strawberry uh, strawberry cream covered biscuit sticks. And I got these at Five Below. I believe you can get these at Walmart also. Um, I think they're super cute though. They taste delicious. It's nice because I don't like to eat a lot of sweets try not to, even though I fail usually, but, um, the bag inside is super cute. Look at that. It's got little strawberries on it. It's so adorable. Um, but it is a product of Thailand. So there's that. Um, 
definitely like really good hits your sweet tooth. And I, I'm not usually a strawberry fan, but I really, really, really liked that strawberry. So it wasn't too strong, wasn't too like, you could taste the strawberry, but it wasn't overwhelming. Uh, the next thing, I actually just finished this this morning. This is a uh, Earl Grey tea from Bigelow. And it this one is decaffeinated because I can't have caffeine. And you can still smell the bergamot in it. Oh, I love it. But um, this is really good. It's $3 and some change for a box of, I think, like 20 of these. And... I love to start my day like just heat up a cup of water and put my tea bag in while I'm starting my makeup and getting that going and just a good way to start the day with a warm drink, especially in these colder months. Uh, I love that. The next thing I have is an uh, Ulta brand. Uh, it's called Sweet Fantasy Vanilla and Caramel Silky Smooth Body Lotion. Now, it does say on the back, not tested on animals. However, I cannot find them or the Hask brand, which was the macadamia oil shampoo, on the PETA website, one way or another. I emailed them, and they said that Ulta products are never tested on animals, and they, you know, at any stage of the game, and they guarantee that they're cruelty-free, so take that for what it's worth. But this cream, um, sorry, body lotion, was not, like, really creamy. It was, um more on the liquidy side. Now I have been using body butters recently, so maybe that's why I noticed like the difference in it. Um, it smells delicious, you guys. I cannot explain to you how good this smells. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I definitely will be picking up some of this in the future though. Now that I know that they are cruelty free, definitely. And it says uh, no parabens, phthalates, gluten, or uh, DEA in this. So great to know. Great scent. And I'm glad they actually sent one of their products for a sample for once. The next two things, so there are the last two. I have a green apple peel nightly brightening pads. Uh, it was one, um, circular pad in here. This is from Juice Beauty and it says even evens and corrects skin tone with uh, Duluth Algae and Vitamin B3. And so the, the idea of this is that you take one pad out and wipe it on your face after you cleanse with their uh, cleansing gel. And I have been using that because I did get the Age Defy Set uh, Starter Kit. I think it's like runs about $39 on Alta's website. And um, they give you one of the pads in here and it's supposed to brighten dark spots and uh, even skin tone and all that stuff um, I do like this brand but I the one issue I had with that is that it's smaller than your palm it probably fits like right in here and when I was trying to go like this it kept folding in on itself so it's a circular pad but it kept the sides kept folding in so I don't really know like how that's supposed to work like you're supposed to go in a circular motion but it kept folding so I had to like kind of like wipe it like this which I didn't really like but hey. and I only used one so I can't really tell you that I definitely saw a difference in the brightness or anything like that it does have a slight singling tingling sensation after you use it and they do warn you of that on the back of the product um, a couple other products of theirs do that um, so if you are not a fan of like a skin tingling, it's not a burning sensation, but it's just like a little bit like, ooh, that's kind of different. Um, but I do like them because they're cruelty free. They are organic and everything smells delicious because it's like apples. And um, so I, I actually would suggest the brand, but I don't know that I can suggest the brightening pads at this time. Um, also, the last thing I have is a Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, this was a sad day for me because I really, really, really love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, in full disclosure, this is not empty. I bought a full size 
I actually bought the duo set where you get the full size and you get a deluxe. And I found after months of using this, it started irritating my eyes. Um, I tried to use this off and on with another mascara and um, it definitely helped. But every time I would wear this, my eyes would get like red and they'd get tired. They'd feel like dry. And I've had that happen with a couple other products. Um, one is the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. Um, at least the black one had issues with that. I think even the purple one did that to me. And one of the Tarte, um, I believe it was the black eyeliner, which I got with a uh, kit. It did that to my eyes. So it's clearly some ingredient that I'm allergic to. And I, I wouldn't say that, oh my gosh, don't get this because you guys are going to be allergic to it. I love this. Go out and get it, please. Try it. Get the one of the Christmas sets, they all come with one of the deluxe samples of this. Now, that being said, <laughs> I have a bunch of Better Than Sex mascaras now that I cannot use, so I will be gifting them to a friend of mine, and she will be a very happy girl, but I kind of died inside when I found out I was allergic to this. So, sorry, Too Faced, can't wear your mascara, please do something where it's hypoallergenic, and I'll show you this. Um, so it comes in the tube. Um, the brush is awesome. If you haven't seen this brush, it's, you know, like a bigger, fuller brush, but I really do like it. It, it made my eyes so much brighter looking and the lashes are voluminous and all the stuff that they say it does, it does. So go out and buy one of these. Hopefully you're not allergic to it like I am, but yes, sad day when I found that out. So that about does it for the empties in this first video of mine. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and comment anything below if you have any questions or comments on any of the products and let me know what you guys think.